What you are about to see is extraordinary. It is not only a conversation with Kenneth G. Mills. It is a communication with a messenger from the source. No advanced script, no advanced questions. The answers are spontaneous creations of inspirational wisdom as expressed through his words, his colors, his music. Is it important that you do lecture? It is important that I fulfill what I was asked to do by the people to whom I lecture. And that was I would speak if I were asked, and otherwise, and otherwise I would remain um, just um, as anyone else, conversing simply. Why is the asking so important? Because if If you ask, you give me permission. Oh. Permission to do what? To change your mental furniture. When somebody asks you a question, do you interpret what you believe is behind the question, or do you listen to the question specifically? I listen to the question specifically because in listening to that, I hear what isn't said. So it may not appear that your question is answered, but as you have asked it, but the answer gives you um, the, hopefully, what you really are requiring. There are, in essence, two, two of you. There's Kenneth. Yes. Kenneth Mills. Mm -hmm. And there's another presence. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. There seems to be that. And as the presence, what is Kenneth Mills? Kenneth Mills is what you call it, since man is always waiting to be in form. And perhaps the presence isn't. So I am what I am. But it's more than Popeye the Sailor Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Much of your teaching Better yet, much of your being expresses itself through poetry. Yes, which I didn't, I didn't care for poetry at all. It was one of my worst courses at university. In this conversation, could I give you limits on your, uh, on your inspiration? In other words, could I say, could I give you a word and ask you to give me a, a four-line poem on it? Is that possible or is that, is that too constricting? No. Love. Mm -hmm. In the sound of this word, one is found. In the sound of this word, love is unbound. In the sound of its might, the earth shook in its plight. In the sound of its joy, an axis was given and the earth danced in light. Heart. Heart. The heart as an organ is bound to time when it transcends the beliefs of the errant mind. The heart is given to the earth in its embrace and man hears the sound of how love is traced. The creative mind has many expressions. Fashion is one of them. Look at the inspired designs of Mr. Mills. He calls them integrity of elegance.
Madame Butterfly is the name given to this gown. So what have you to fear? Look up and behold, what is the future in store for you? loves to whisper and it loves to sigh over the graves of those who have passed by. The rabbit loves to hop and skip o'er the land and the chipmunks are always there of course taking every nut that they can. You mentioned the wee folk of the forest. Mm -hmm. Are there nature spirits? Of course. We can make any spirit. We wish we have the faculty of an imagination and what we do with it. Example? Well, if we imagine a chair is just wood, we forget about the sacrifice of the tree. And if we consider the tree, most of us forget uh, that the tree was a seed. And when we forget the seed, we forget uh, that a verdant place must be found for it to bear translation and appear beneath, above the ground. Will there ever come a time when there is agreement in principle between the cultures and the races? Mm -hmm. Yes, there will. I feel there will. But um, people haven't suffered enough. Hmm. Why do we have to suffer? Oh, people love to suffer. They can't, because if they don't suffer, they have nothing to do. Most of the life here in our Earth is built on suffering. Uh, of course, there is a frustration uh, that surrounds this whole society in the world today because without the negative condition, I wonder how people would behave. 
if love was the motivation behind each and every one. But people find more company present in the negative state than they do in the positive state. The positive state always demands commitment. We have just a couple of minutes left. I would like to ask you to um, play a moment with me. The television camera that's over my shoulder facing you, let's assume that you now have one minute to talk to all the people of the world, all of them, they're listening. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them in that one minute's time? I would say, wake up. Look at them. Wake up and be sure that you are awake by questioning what you are looking at, by questioning who is looking, by questioning who is seeing, and by questioning, is it changing? We have tasted the transcended truths of music, art, fashion, and words as expressed through Kenneth Mills. Did you feel it?